All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on Bungie's new updated Trials variation. We've got, it's like a control version of Trials. It's a bunch of different capture zone points. I want to give you my thoughts and opinions, and I also want to give you what the community feedback seems to be overall, because it doesn't seem to look very good. Now, obviously, I'll give a little bit of background if you don't know who I am or if this is the first video you're ever watching, or if you've been watching for a long time. I probably have over 10,000 hours of either time spent playing Trials, doing carries, doing fun runs of Trials, or making videos of Trials. So I probably have easily top 10 worldwide time spent in Trials. So much time has been spent in this Trials playlist. And the reason why uh, I personally like this playlist a lot is because I've had this feeling for a long time that Trials needs an objective. Uh, when you spawn in, there's no objective immediately other than power ammo around right now. And so what people can do, or what they did in Destiny 1, Year 3, is they sat in their spawn with Icebreakers, and especially in the map Pantheon, if you remember that one, which uh, is now called Convergence, but they sat in the top of the map there, and they just charged up their Icebreaker shots, and it was very frustrating. And it was around that point in time in Destiny 1, Year 3, that I was like, Trials needs an objective. You can't just sit in the back of the map. This isn't fun. This kind of ruins the experience, especially if you remember the artifact back in the day, Scory's artifact. What people would do is they would get their super really fast, and if you stood next to your teammates when you had your super, you could feed them super, right? So if Scory's Artifact were in the game right now with this new version of Trials, it probably wouldn't be nearly as OP, let's be honest. But obviously don't bring back Scory's. But I think that the overall community opinion for this Trials playlist is kind of negative right now. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're liking it, if you're indecisive about it, or if you're absolutely hating it. I think most people are probably disliking it. And I'm going to give you the reasons why I like it and why I do think it's a good thing. Obviously, Bungie can, you know, mess around with the exact parameters of it here and there. But the reasons why I like it, all right? First up, you can't just sit in your spawn. You can't just farm super energy by sitting in your spawn. Farming ability energy, which has always been a very frustrating playstyle to myself especially. I like to push to the middle of the map, try and win the first gunfight. And, or lose and then get the round over with. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sit in there. The rounds used to be two minutes long. And then with overtime, you could have a two and a half minute round, right? You could play 20 minute games. I'm not trying to play a 20 minute game. If you have to play seven 20 minute games just to get to Lighthouse, that's like, you know, a two and a half hour trip just to get to the damn Lighthouse. That's not, that's way too much time, right? That's not fun. I didn't enjoy that. Lighthouse trips should take, I don't know, an hour, right? At most, right? That's what they should take. And so I think that this will expedite trials a ton. And that's why I like it a lot. I think that there should be an objective of some sort. It doesn't have to be exactly this way, but I do think that this is a step in the right direction. And if you're disliking out there, um, I think the reason why a lot of people would dislike it is because they maybe prefer the slower pace of trials. It's maybe a little more methodical. It's maybe a little more calculated or you know, if your teammates die, you can push back into the spawn and you still stand a chance to try to pull off the 1v3 sort of thing which is okay overall, and I do think that there is some validity to that opinion. However, I do think it's a bit frustrating if you, all of your team, and all of the enemy's team push to the middle of the map, and you win those two gunfights, and then your one person just runs all the way to the back of the map, and you just have to spend you know 30 minutes, 30 seconds, or a minute chasing them down round after round after round because they're, you know, whatever, blinking to the back of the map or whatever they're doing going invis, right? It's frustrating, right? I think that that, uh, that element of Trials... Has been around for so long that we've just become accustomed to it. We've become accustomed to a slow playstyle of trials, but I do think that it is much, much better with the overtime. And I want to go over the exact details of how this overtime works, right? Normally we had two minute rounds, now one and a half minute rounds. After a minute and a half, there would be an overtime capture point dead center in the middle of the map. Everyone knew where it was, everyone got prepared for it, etc. Uh, and what it did was, you know, you had to play at that point in time. You had to finally push the pace. And I've seen so many teams sit in their spawn until about a minute, uh, you know, until about 10 seconds to the overtime, and then they finally leave. And that's very frustrating, very lame play style, right? And that overtime, that objective forces people to actually push to the middle map, forces people to actually play the game, get in those gunfights. And now what they've done is they've taken that objective point, and when you win that first round in the middle, they take it and they put it on the enemy side. Um, and it does seem to be a bit buggy the way it's working right now. I'm not sure if it's by design. But it put, goes to one side or the other, and it tends to go to the side that loses, right? He spawns on that side, the side that loses. And so now the capture point is right next to you, and does add a little bit of a weird element where you sort of spawn next to it. So you, now you just lost the last round, so now you're essentially trying to camp in your spawn or something and capture it again. Which uh, is a bit of a weird element, the way in which Bungie did that. I'm not sure if I entirely agree with that. 
However, what this does allow, and the reason why I do think that this is kind of good, that the capture point isn't just dead center in the middle every single round, is it allows for a diversity of gameplay throughout the map. You play on the B capture point, or if we're talking about control in trials, right? The middle capture point, B. Then you play on the A capture point, and then on the C capture point, and so on and so forth. The whole map gets used. Wormhaven is not the best map. That's this week's trials map. It's not the best map. But the fact that the whole map gets used and you're seeing like really diverse, unique gameplay, different play styles, different like hallways being used uh, more popularly, like much more, pop much more frequently rather than before is really cool. I actually quite like that quite a bit. And overall, I've always been a very aggressive play style. Like for example, people always ask me like, well, especially when I'm talking about the stag being OP, they're like, well, you use Shatter Dive. Shatter Dive's OP too. I'm, I never said Shatter Dive wasn't OP, right? So this, this, this is a separate argument. The reason why I use Shatter Dive and I don't use Stag and why I think Stag is more OP than Shatter Dive is because I use Shatter Dive because it's an aggressive ability. I can push into your spawn. I can push into the middle of the map. I can run you down. That's what I want to do. I want to run into you and get into a gunfight. And if you don't want to fight me, if you just want to hide in a corner with a shotgun, then I'm going to throw the grenade and I'm going to Shatter Dive it, right? So that's why I like Shatter Dive over something like Stag. And that's the reason why I like this play style a little bit more, right? There's the capture zone. You have to spawn in. You know, you got to run to it. You got to be aggressive. You have to control this area. And as soon as those gunfights start, you can't just run back and burrow in your spawn or rotate around the whole map, you know what I'm saying? Which is which is nice. Like, I, I think that the rounds should end in a more, like, timely fashion. And I think that overall, we're going to see a lot faster matches in this weekend of Trials. And I think that's a good thing overall. Now... Should it spawn every 30 seconds? Maybe Bungie could do it every 45 seconds. Maybe they could figure something else out. Are Titans a bit OP in this meta? Maybe a little bit. I mean, Titan Walls can get pretty crazy. Titan or Warlock Rifts can get pretty crazy on those as well. But, you know, the PvP has been ruled by Hunters for a long time. I think it's okay that the Titans and Warlocks have an advantage with objectives because of a Rift and a Wall. I think that's okay. I think that's going to add some real uh, balance in the selection of subclasses from people, right? Right now, there's like primarily Hunters. Maybe we'll see more Titans, especially if you can rock three Bubble Titans and win three guaranteed rounds, you know? Nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not particularly going to use that playstyle. Uh, I used to play a more pa passive playstyle like that back in, in the day in D1, but now I'm much more, I would rather get into a gunfight, win or lose, and lose that round, lose that match. Doesn't matter to me, but I want to play aggressive from start to finish because I don't want to sit around for 20 plus minute games. And maybe uh, you're of a different opinion. Maybe the majority of the community is of a different opinion. Maybe you liked the old Trials playstyle. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, what it is specifically that you like and don't like about it. Obviously, change is hard for everyone. And I think that the majority of people are just like, I don't like change. I like the old way Trials was. I got accustomed to that. Maybe I've just played, like I said, 10,000 hours of Trials. And maybe this new variation is just new and exciting to me, especially someone that's been burnt out on Trials for years at, at a time, at one point in time, right? But... Overall, my opinion is this is a really good change. In fact, this is such a good change, and this I, I I have to back this change up because this is literally the exact way I said trials should be played for years now. For years, I said that there should be an objective point exactly as the overtime is that should spawn in in the middle of the map or near the middle of the map, and people should have to chase after that point so that way the engagements happen. And I didn't know exactly how would you win the round by capturing that point, or would you gain, I don't know, ability energy or something, right? Like, you could do it a variety of different ways if you wanted to. But for the way it is right now, it's capture that point, you win the round. And I think that's a good way of doing things. Overall, uh, I played a ton of games today, and the better team won overall. I lost maybe a couple games. And the teams that I lost to, they were certainly better teams. So it wasn't like a lopsided, like, oh, teams that just use this ability or this can win now. Like, maybe people that use Saitans or people that play bubbles it didn't find that to be my experience at all it still felt like the better team won every single round and considering that i've always had a really aggressive play style i won a lot more today than i ever won before if i'm being completely honest on a friday so it was really good for me overall but i don't want to just give my opinion because obviously that's quite biased i want to hear your opinions down in the comment section below and obviously this is going to be a big debate and bungie is going to be listening to you so if you have your thoughts and opinions make sure to post them and i will make a follow-up video as well we'll see what the overall community impression is of this new version of Trials. If you enjoyed this video, though, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.